I'm not your typical kind of artist. I don't go to art galleries. I actually don't know a lot about art history. I just like making cool stuff. This is a material that's just abundant everywhere. People are throwing it away, actually paying to get it recycled. It's a material that I can really transform into whatever I want. So I got this commission from Goodyear, uh, a random email one day. People from Goodyear wanted sculptures for the Cotton Bowl and I was just ecstatic. My name is Blake McFarlane. I'm a tire sculpting artist. Any sculpture will go from around 50 to almost 200 tires. Once I have all the tires stripped up, I find a form that I could actually secure, weave, wrap these tires around to use as my inner structural base and basically use the anatomy that I've already researched to kind of try and get everything on there. So the two teams in the Cotton Bowl this year, the Western Michigan Broncos versus Wisconsin Badgers. What I really want to do in these pieces is really capture the essence of their mascots. For the Western Michigan Broncos, I'm actually doing a life-size Bronco. It's going to be massive to scale. And we're going to do a, a big form of, of Bucky the Badger. And it's the first time I've actually really used white and black tires. And I think the Badger's going to come out great. These two pieces are gonna be a massive challenge. Normally, the sculptures take up to a month. I have 15 days to do two full life-size sculptures. I'm super excited for it, but there's gonna be a lot of challenges along the way. So working with these different treads is really what depicts different muscles. Um, the great thing about this project is Goodyear sent me so many different tire treads this is more of an off-road tire, which is gonna depict a bigger muscle, which is more in the front. And then over here, for example, we have road tires, which are thinner, and they work really good for undertones of muscle layers. So when the Badger arrived, I knew I wanted to do something different than the Bronco. I wanted to do fur, and I wanted to just have thousands of shreds of tire to really make them come together. I was a little nervous at first seeing it come out of the truck. I was like, please make sure everything is good. And uh, it came perfect, uh, no problems. Everything looks great. And people, once they see it, I think they're really excited and it really makes it all worth it. And then I got to meet Keyshawn Johnson, which is obviously awesome. It's pretty amazing. I mean, I like stuff like that. I like art. I mean, it's something now that I think that the university should be proud of and display in their athletic departments, you know, in, in their concourse as they walk in, I would. Since they say that everything is bigger in Texas, we'll unveil some Texas-sized artwork that we've created to honor these two teams. We talk about Blimpworthy on the college football field. Certainly, this is Blimpworthy as well. This exudes hard work, determination, and grit for sure. It feels great to be done. I mean, these are by far the biggest, best, most time I've ever put into any sculpture. Over 500 hours went into both these sculptures, 460 Goodyear tires, thousands of staples, nails, paint. So much work went into these. These are definitely blimp worthy.